Okay, so here we are, part two. Um, so this is the collective consignment used tack video. Um, so it's from two different places. One is an actual consignment shop, and the rest is from a garage sale. So, um, it's amazing what good stuff you can find used. Um, and you just have to be careful, you know, really check it, especially when it comes to leather goods. Um, anyways, so, um, starting with the consignment shop, I went to Christian's Saddlery, I believe that's what it's called. I will, um, put the link down below. Um, it is a regular old saddle and tack shop. They have new stuff, mostly used stuff, but in the back corner they do have some consignment stuff or used stuff. Um, so um, I went there to try a saddle that did not work, of course. Anyways, so the first thing I got were, just told my trainer, because um, we took her horse to the vet to have an MRI, so we stopped while we were there. I was telling her I needed some polo, pillow, not polo, pillow wraps. And so she happened to see some, and so I got some. So these are long pillow wraps, and they're pretty thick. Um, they look pretty decent. I got these for four bucks. It, I only got two, because um, that's all they had. And yeah, so I have pillow wraps used, and then I also got more pillow wraps. So I got a set of four um, standard pillow wraps, and again, these were four dollars. So basically, I got them for a dollar each. So I got that, and then with that, I also got standing wraps. Oh, yeah, so I got a set of four standing wraps, and I only paid. Eight dollars. Let's see. That. Let's see. Eight dollars. So, I mean, and these don't look like they were hardly ever used. So, yeah, I'm very excited. So now I have my pillow and standing wraps. Here's an emergency. Um, and then this was my favorite part. Okay, so moving on. Okay, so all of the rest of this stuff came from a garage sale from one place. I was on my way to feed Breeze. And there's this house that's going up for sale soon, and I have been admiring this house for like ever. It is an old Victorian style house. It's like 120 something years old, and it has a barn and an arena, and it has like this field of orchards, um, no, acres of orchards. But anyways, they're having a garage sale, and seeing how there's a barn with an arena, that means they had horses. So I was like, okay, I need to see if they have anything. So as I was driving, I was like, you know what, I'm going to stop. So I stopped, and I'm glad I did. So the first two things that I saw that I was like, okay, I'm buying something were, hold on. were these two bridles. Okay, so they look better now because they were dirty. A lot of the stuff was very dirty because whoever or the lady did dressage but she doesn't anymore. So this one is a Corbett black leather bridle, regular nose band, and it does have reins. It has black leather reins which are behind me. And they are in good, great condition. Um, this is in good condition. It is schooling condition. Wouldn't use it for a show, because. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I cleaned it and oiled it up, and they came out awesome. So 
I bought this one and this one. Yes, it came with this um, bridal, oh, I'm sorry, brow band. And it has a crank nose band. Um, did not have the flash on it. The crank part, the chin part, it's a little eh. It'll work. Um, it's not something I would use for a show because over probably maybe another year, this probably needs to be replaced. So, and plus it's just not in show quality condition look wise. But again, another Corbett bridle. And the reason why I bought these, these ones, these came with um, black rubber webbed reins. These came with just black, smooth reins, leather reins. Um, I bought these because she said it was five dollars each. I paid five dollars each for these Corbett bridles. I can't get a brow band for five dollars. So, yeah. I was huh, excited about that. Those will be my black, well one of them will be my black bridles. Um, and then I'm keeping the reins because I can always have an extra pair of reins. Um, but the reason why I bought these bridles, this is the kicker. Five dollars, remember, five dollars each, were for the bits that were attached. Now, yes, these are two egg butt French link bits, each one came with a bit. The reason why I bought these, because as you can tell, these are pretty big. These are actually six inch bits. Um, so these are definitely warm blood draft size bits. I knew my horse could not fit these. Um, wasn't sure if he could fit the bridles. I didn't care about the bridles at the time because they were just dirty and dusty and stiff as all heck. So I figured they, I'd toss them, but then I thought, ah, maybe I'll clean them up and see. <laughs> and they're actually pretty nice. Um, but it's the brand. Yes, both of these are Myler bits from Toklot. These are $70 bits. No, I'm sorry, not $70, $80 bits for five bucks. Really? Seriously? So this is where I bought those bridles because they had these bits attached to them. I plan on selling these bits. So I plan on making more than what I paid for them because they're Toklot. They're French Link Egg Butt Toklot Myler bits. These are so expensive. So I'm going to sell them. Anyways, as I was saying, I have the bits. I'm keeping one of the bridles for um, a backup and also for um, yeah for schooling um, I am going to sell one of the bridles and both the bits so yeah that is that and then I got these boots um, for three dollars. They're in good working condition. I just need them for schooling. Um, I do plan on buying a pair for, um, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Oh, for shows. What else did I, I miss so much stuff. I just don't even know where to start. Um, oh, I got these. Okay, basically, I don't even remember because after so long, I just started throwing stuff together and once I reach 50 bucks she's like well you can have so so and so's this just take it all for 50 and don't freak out please um for 50 and then she just started throwing it and stuff so really I don't know how much anything really was I got more than $50 worth of stuff but um anyways I got these um, she was going to charge me five bucks for them, 
so you guys know how much these things cost to put in your boots. So I got these boot trees. I got another brow band. Um, it has this symbol on it. I don't know what that is. So if anybody knows what the symbol is, please comment down below and let me know. Um, yeah, so that she gave me this Pastier Leader Balsam Leather Balm. Um, it is practically brand stinking new. I need to take her, um, Yeah, I need to take her rag out of here that, just, that was in here. But yeah, it's almost full. So, I need to take that out. That's not mine. Um, definitely smells better than FX. And I actually wanted to buy this and try it, but... No, I don't have to. Um, I got a pair of polo wraps. These are almost three feet, not quite. So they're not full length. Um, and then I got a set of four that she just threw in, um, these are, like, sorry, not three feet, nine feet, almost nine feet. These are almost, these are a little over six feet, also, and I got a set of four of those, and then I got a set of four of these, which are just different. They're slightly different. Um, I don't know how long they are, but yeah. So I got a set of four of those. I got a set of four of Hunter Green Polo Wraps, and these are standard. Um, yeah, so I got one, two, three, four. Fourteen polos. Yeah, ten of them are white, and four are um, green. So, yeah, she's basically giving me, like, a set for, let's either three or five dollars, but then she just threw in all the white ones. I was like, okay. So, because I was just going to get a set of four white ones and the green ones, but she just threw them in. Not going to say no. Um, this luckybraids.com, um, pull through and scissors and these scissors are so sharp and so it just goes around your neck and oh my gosh I could have used this a couple weekends ago when I braided my trainers thoroughbred for the um parade because I, I needed my scissors and then I put them in my pocket of my apron and it just wasn't working so yeah this is what I needed and so she just threw this in for free with everything else I was like oh Okay, I will take it. And then I got a jelly scrubber. Mind you, everything was completely covered in dust and dirt. Um, so I took everything to the laundromat because my mom was not having it. And I wasn't having it. The stuff was so dirty. I was not having it. And my. Mm -mm. And she definitely wasn't having it. So I took it to the laundromat um, and cleaned everything. But anyways, I got a jelly scrubber, and this one is going to be for bathing. Yay, bathing. I also bought a new one of these, the Tell Tamer Jelly Scrubbers, in pretty much the same color. Um, and it's smaller, which I like because it's like the child size. Um, that's going to be for his face. And then I have the regular size Tell Tamer Jelly Scrubber that's going to be for his legs. And this one's for bathing. So I got that. I was thrown in. I got this brush, which is nice and clean. It is platinum made in Germany. And it is a soft brush. So, yeah. I got that with a wood back handle. Another brush. This one is synthetic um, bristles. It's a little bit stiffer with the wood back and the handle. I like wood back brushes. Um, they're harder to keep, they're harder to clean because you can't get this dirt wet really, but for the sake of these brushes, since they were used and I'm a little OCD, 
and germaphobic. I really washed these really good and then I bleached the crap out of these including the wood. I let the wood soak in the water. That's how crazy I, about germs I am. So now that I know that they're disinfected and clean I will not be getting this wet anymore. Especially this black one because like the paint was coming off. So, um, I got this brush which is like a, a stiffer type finishing brush. It's a natural bristles and natural wood. Um, yeah. And then this one. Natural wood and natural bristles. I have one like this. It's smaller. It's about like that size. So now I have a bigger one. So that's cool. So those are all disinfected and clean because... <laughs> and then um, pulling comb. I don't pull Breeze's mane. I don't pull any horse's mane. But I just figured I'd have it on hand. She threw it in. She gave it to me. She gave me a whole bunch of other combs. But I just ended up tossing them. Because I didn't, you know. Um, so let me see. That is a door. We're not done yet. Oh no no. I so a lot of crap. So she gave me this clock. She threw it in. She just gave it to me. It says, Welcome. No hour is lost spent in the saddle. And it has a clock. It wasn't working when my when we bought it, but my dad put a battery in it. And it works. So this is actually <laughs> this is going on the outside of my tack locker because I never know what time it is, and I've been wanting a clock. There's no clock at the bar. So I just completely lose track of time there. So now, I know. I mean, it's really not going to help me, but... Let's see, is this even right? Oh, it is right. Good grief. It's like 2 in the morning. This is what happens when you have insomnia. You make videos at 2 in the morning. Um, so yeah. So, daughter's cute. I love that. And then, we got this sign. My mom bought this one for me for three dollars three dollars so that's what that is um, I'm gonna hang this probably in my diva den in my equestrian closet so those are my signs okay now let's get to the good stuff let me make some space so I got three saddle pads, five dollars each, and I just happened to find out online today because I went to Mary's Tack online. Um, I was just looking at saddle pads because I just wanted to see. Um, I wanted to see the price of their shock mole pads, and I happened to come across these pads. These pads are freaking expensive, ridiculous. Okay, so I got three dressage pads. Um, I don't have a dressage saddle yet. If you plan on getting one later, because I'm doing venting, so I'm going to need a dressage saddle. But for now, I'm just settling with a close contact jumping saddle. Because I need that too. But the first one I got is this white one with um, black piping. I'm really upset about what happened to it. It was filthy. Filthy. It had crustings on the part that would actually be seen. But yeah, me and my dad, we worked at getting that all out. So as you can see, it's pretty white, except for like dye from the saddle um, and from the girth, the little straps and stuff. They both have. Um, Oh, I didn't realize. This one does not have the Velcro fillet straps, so that sucks, but it does have the girth loops, and cleaned it as much as I could. We even used a little bleach on this one, but I put it in the top load at the... And this is what happened. It messed it up. I'm not happy, and it kind of messed it up here, too. But anyways, it was used. I mean, it already had like this. This was already there, but it is a, oh, this is a 70-something dollar saddle. 
well, according to Mary's tag. So it is a Toklot Classic 3. Yeah, this is like $74 in Mary's tag. So, five bucks. So the next one is this one. It is a black um, USG saddle pad. So you guys know how much these are. And again, less than five dollars. It has the Velcro billet straps there. It has the girth loops here. And as you can see, it is in pretty good condition. There was a stain up here. We kind of lightened it up a little. So, yeah. I mean, it's a tour saddle pad. It's going to get dirty. But, yeah. So it has the dark gray um, edging here. Light gray. I think this was white at one time. I don't know. And then the black and white. Um... It's actually not piping, braiding. It's braiding. Yeah. So I got that. Moon's my favorite because I love this color. This is why I bought it. It was so covered in dust. So I got another US USG. And again, it has the Velcro gullet. Get <laughs> I'm tired. It's late. It's a lot of talking. Velcro billet straps girth loops on both sides. Um, underneath is just the same material as on top. It is like a pretty dark teal color with a um, kind of taupey silver braiding brown here and light blue here. So, oh, love it. Now I just need your sash so I can use it. Um, so that is that. Doing stuff with me. I'm a water. Um, so again, five dollars or less. A quarter sheet. A navy quarter sheet. It's a little tail strap. Or exercise rug, whatever you want to call it. Um, the brand is I don't know what the brand is. Hold on, let me find the tag. There is a tag. I, I synced it. I shot it. Oh. Um Equine Textiles. Mount Sterling, Kentucky. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Yeah. So that's what brand it is. My trainer had been asking all winter, well, what winter we had here in Northern California, for me to get a quarter sheet exercise rug, and now I have one. So hopefully, I keep turning it inside out. So if we have a winter next year, I have one. And then the... Oh my gosh, I think this is it. The absolute last thing I got was she was going to charge me $10 for this. But again, she just... Yeah, so it's either 10 or less, and it is a stable sheet. It is navy blue and green, hunter green. It's very cute. I love it, and it fits him perfectly. Because the one I bought from Top Rider, from State Line, is Ren's, ran small, so I bought a, the largest and the largest they had because they were like closing out of them, so they only had certain sizes and the color that I wanted, and it was the largest one, which was an 84, and it's a little too big for him. But since it's a stable sheet, I was only going to be using it for when he's um, the night before a show, after I washed him cleaned them up and stuff. So, this is his stable sheet. The only thing I don't like about this one, but I can't complain because I paid less than $10 for it, is it has these kind of buckles instead of surcingles. 
so it buckles like this under his belly well this is on, like on the side but you cross it under the belly and then you snap it here instead of having this regular sort of single so that's the only thing I don't like about it um, these can break easier but then I mean I can always fix it I, I know how to fix it um, so maybe one day I might change them to sort of single it's, I don't even know if it's worth it though but it is made in the USA look at United States and it is oh I thought I grabbed the 80 I grabbed the 84 well these run small so this fits perfect it is the Saratoga Horseworks never heard of it but this lady was like older than me so she rode I mean these are like different brands than what I've heard of so but I'm not complaining, so that is this tack haul. So that is all the stuff I got from the garage sale. That is all my used stuff. 50 bucks for all of that. And these alone are worth more than 50 bucks together. So, yeah, that's it. I'm ending this video. Um, again, comment, rate, subscribe, and please share your, my videos with your friends. Um, if you have any requests, please post them down below. If you have any questions, please post them down below. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!